Okay, so the video we're gonna tie next is gonna be a natural color, kind of like a bluegill jig, something I would use, you know, if I, if I was out crappie fishing one day and I ran across a big bluegill bed, this is what I'm probably gonna throw in it. We're gonna coat the shank of that hook with Sally Hansen's. Got just a little too much on there. There we go. And we're gonna tie that body in. We're gonna make it kind of flashy, but the flash is gonna be kind of camouflaged, hidden a little bit with the type of feather, the type of hackle feathers we're gonna use. So we're gonna start out wrapping that jig head. Keeping good steady wraps on it. We're using a little bit thinner of thread because we are tying a 16th ounce. Um, a lot of times the main thing in my tackle boxes are usually eighth ounce, quarter ounce. Uh, I use a lot more heavier jigs and lighter styles. So we're going kind of thin on that thread. Then I will show you on the back of it what size it says we're using. Um, I can do it without getting it all tangled up. Danville's 200 Flymaster waxed. Okay, so let's get back up here to the head. We're going to tie our flash first. This is kind of, um, I don't know what, you, what color you would call that. It's almost like a root beer color. But we're going to tie that in before we tie our high queen. And we're going to be pretty generous on how much we're going to tie in. And you know, if you watch my channel very often, you know I get pretty heavy with the flash. Um, one of those things, if I think flash is spooking fish or I put too much on, uh, I can take a little pair of scissors while I'm in the boat and I can just cut it off and get rid of it. I like flashing my jigs. I like attention getters. And that's an attention getter right there. There's all kinds of different colors in that. You can see the green, silver, the blue. Uh, it's a really cool flash. It goes a, goes well with just about anything you're going to tie. But we're going to be kind of selective on these hackle feathers. It's got this hackle we're using. It's got a dark side. And it's got a lighter side. So I'm going to go with the. I'm going to go with the. Try to go with the darker side on the outside. Now, I ain't saying that it ain't going to turn or flip as I'm tying, but. That's kind of what we're going for. We'll see how it comes out. I'm going to end up cutting that thread if I keep hitting that hook. Okay, we're going to roll it over on this side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tie one in on this side with the dark side facing out. And that's a little shorter feather, so I'm going to kind of move it back just a little bit as I'm tying it in. I want it to be pretty close to the length of the other side, so I just adjusted where the feather was at. And we're gonna put one more on the bottom. And on the bottom one, we're gonna go with the lighter side color facing up. So let's see if I can do it. Yeah, that worked. We got it. Now that flash is just a little bit longer than that tail. We're gonna pull some of it up here without cutting our high and We're gonna trim it off to where it's just about even with our high cone. And we got it. And you see how the inside of the body of that tail is our flashy spot. Okay, so now next we're gonna put in our Chanel. We're gonna pull a little bit off here at the end. We're gonna find that stem. And we're gonna start that stem right behind the head. I wanna leave a little bit of a gap here because we're gonna tie in, we're gonna tie a neck in with this. I'm going to stop about right there. I don't know how well you can see it, but I got a little bit of a valley starting right there from the thread to the head, and that's going to be for the hackle we're going to tie in for our neck. All right, let's wrap that. That's kind of a kind of a thin chanel, so we're going to let it build up. We're going to make the body a little bit bulky on this one, so we can't get it where it's kind of fat there. Make a bluegill want it because it's going to fill him up. All right, I'm stopping right there. I'm gonna wrap my Chanel around the thread. I'm gonna go back one more time. I'm gonna wrap it in. And we're gonna call the Chanel part done.
that's over. Let's see if we can't trim it up a little better than that. There we go. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a long hackle feather. But I'm gonna cut it off like right here where it gets kind of thick. I'm gonna pull my scissors in there and I'm gonna separate out some of those fibers. I'm gonna cut it off. Now I'm gonna take this feather, it's all nice and neat. Everything's pointing one direction and I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw them up. I want them all to stand up. Perfect, just like that, that's what I want. And we're gonna tie in, as I try to pick some of that off where I can get the exposed stem. I'll pick a little bit of that off right there where we got that stem. And we're gonna use that as our tie-in spot. Lay it up over the head. And you need to come down kind of loose on that stem or it's just gonna pull out. I believe we got it. We'll go on each side of it and make sure we got it in there kind of tight. All right, so that's what you got. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that hackle feather and we're gonna pull it around that head and we're gonna alternate. One wrap on this side of the thread, one wrap on this side of the thread. And we're gonna try to squeeze that whole hackle feather in. On this side, and it's gonna get down to where it's gonna get kind of tight. And if you got big fat fingers like I do, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. But we're gonna stop right there on the other side of the thread and we're gonna wrap it again. And we're gonna pull that tag in piece of that hackle feather over. And we're gonna tie it in one more time. Almost one of those jigs where if somebody was standing over there and holding a feather as you kind of went down and around, it would help. All right, so now we're gonna rotate it up here and we're gonna cut that rest of that feather out. Right there behind the head. Nobody's gonna see the stem. Nobody knows it's there. The fish don't care that it's there. They might not even care you even tied it in but it might be one of those things that just triggered that bite you were looking for. Okay, so let's do our whip finish. And we're trying to keep the whip finish all on this side of that neck. And if you don't get it all on that side of the neck, you get inside of it, don't worry about it, just keep on going. I'm gonna pop it out, pull it out, we're gonna trim that baby off. Cut that thread up in there somewhere. Then we're just gonna get our UV resin. We're gonna dab a little bit where the that feathers into that head. Without trying to get all the feathers resin coated. Might as well just brush a little on there too. Finish it up. We got some some of those fibers are right in the eye of that hook. Oh they moved. Awesome. But that is what I would love to throw into a bluegill bed. I believe that would be a pretty awesome jig. Got a little different look to it. Got a good flashy tail. Let's see if I can't zoom in on it. And that's how it finishes. I still see him there and it's bugging me. I see a little bit of UV resin that got inside that eye. We got a little picker thing here. We're gonna kind of pick some of that out. Especially on that eye. There you go. There you have it. See that shine in that tail? See that? That's called an attention getter. You're a fish. comes out good give it a shot give it a try time that neck in ain't that hard practice on it if it comes out comes undone try it different the next time that is all i got don't forget folks like share subscribe comment let me know what you think uh start sending me some ideas of what to tie i kind of hit a dry spot here and i'm running out of different things to show i love that flash and that tail let me know what you think